A total of 1,048 tourists and 78 cable car operator staff were stranded for about seven hours before being rescued in stages from 9 p.m. last night. The breakdown, which occurred at 5.48 p.m., is the worst to affect the cable car system since it started operating in 2002. Panorama Langkawi's technical team was able to mobilize the system manually at about 9 p.m. to bring down the 88 tourists trapped inside 16 gondolas to the base station. The whole system was restored at around 11 p.m. Okay, saya so baru um, first time bawa nak cuba naik cable car. Then I rasa rasa happy first time, and then tiba-tiba jadi rasa macam ni rasa macam phobia untuk trauma. Rasanya kan first and last lah. Mula-mula rasa happy. Uh, lepas tu datang perasaan takut. <laughs> uh, pengalaman rasa pengalaman ngeri lah. Uh, rasa nak datang lagi macam tak mungkin kot. <laughs> ah, technician tu harap uh, biar lebih bagus lah. Masa akan datang kan. Kami enam orang datang untuk bercuti pukul empat setengah. Tapi kami sangkut di atas selama lapan jam. Lapan jam ni kami cuma dapat dua roti, dua mineral water ni. We did not ask to start upside for eight hours, so we just we come to their office to ask for compensations. But what they offer us, nothing but just refund the ticket we buy and with the parking fees. The Langkawi Sky Cab, which spans for about 5.9 kilometers long, is the longest cable car system in the world and about 1.7 kilometers of it rose at 45 degrees angle to become the world's steepest, with the highest point surpassing 700 meters. It's the number one tourist attraction in Langkawi since it was launched 15 years ago, carrying 1.5 million passengers last year alone.